All right, ready? <laughs> I don't care about your feelings. That was so odd. <laughs> uh, you'd be left of Lennon. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh, jeez. You have no power here. What? <laughs> just two brothers. It's just two brothers. <laughs> We'll, we'll get back to the list. Uh, we got just a couple things on there. Uh, so we remember this is a culmination of what's happened to lead up to this to this re election result. Um, then you have Biden falling asleep at the uh, the CEOP 269, which is, well, you want to explain that to the people in Portland? They should be very familiar with it being there, super into their uh, to their environment. But it's the uh, it's the big environmental uh uh summit that's happening over in the uh in the eu air uh spot and uh yeah it, uh, our our president who is supposed you remember uh remember the whole america is back baby back on the international stage we're gonna be so respected america is back america is back diplomacy is back and uh and now we have our president taking a uh, a good cat nap not just like a little one where he just like dozes off it yeah i mean he was out for for a little bit i mean they i think i saw a line of drool coming down yeah and then and then, they, then that that person shows up and like takes his pulse and they held a mirror in front of his nose to see if he was breathing and uh and and actually a funny thing was after that happened i caught a couple of news clips from germany turkey and i think poll and and of course they're all subtitled because you know they, they weren't speaking english but all of them all of them were just totally ripping on him like who is this guy why isn't he in a nursing home like this is really their leader i mean what does this say about their country like all of them all three of them were just ripping on him because of this you don't sit there and sleep in a flipping global summit especially after the rumor that you crapped yourself in front of the pope yeah yeah and then and then the last thing on the list was you know the deuce <laughs> incident it's a crappy situation <laughs> yeah yeah we don't we don't want to sit on this too long <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. So anyway, all of these, all of these things were happening and there's a couple of little more things that happened in there as well that we didn't ha have on this, on this, this is not a definitive list, but all the stuff that was going on with, with, uh, the Democrats and, and their, their epic failure since, since forcing Biden into office. And that has culminated to the first election after Biden's been here and the Democrats have had can pretty much free reign of whatever they wanted to do and what happens. Their man in a blue state loses. Well, add on top of that, he brought in the uh, the Democrats, you know, biggest hits. He brought in Kamala. He brought in Obama. He brought in uh, a Biden. He brought in uh, Stacey Abrams for some reason, as if she has any. You know, you know. Hold on, hold on a second. Why, why does she keep showing up? She has never won an election. Why do they keep bringing this lady in? She is all she, her fame is that she's a loser. That's it. She's 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 lost on everything. Her her platforms are horrible. I mean, she's straight up a communist. She she's worse than a communist. And and they keep bringing her in. I mean, Democrats didn't even want her. Why would you keep it, it's you know why it's because she made a deal with somebody so they'd keep pushing her and pushing her and pushing her on all these stages and and, and all she's famous she must for be is pretty ideologically committed oh yeah she is she's a she's committed to uh you know the the camps and the the gulags and the you know the the ss running around and she's committed to to taking away your free speech and she's she's committed she's committed to to the you know the new world order and all that crap that's that's the only reason why they like her um, but she's a failure. She's only famous for being a failure. You know, one thing that's funny when they when they brought in the big guns, especially when old Barry himself showed up and they started talking. Did you see how many times they said Trump? I did. That that was that, that was their that closing. was astounding. They're still that was their closing pitch. They're they're still running on the platform that it's not Trump. That that's their whole thing. It's it's like this obviously isn't working for you. 
It's it, obviously it's, not working. It's a result that they Trump I, really kind of united them and brought back that that kind of brought back that Obama coalition of the dispossessed, and they really are trying to make that a thing. And they think that if they just repeat Trump, just the word, if they just repeat Trump, 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 Trump that that is going to drive people to the polls, and uh, you know, it didn't. Oh, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> I mean, it did, but <laughs> not their not people. their people. Well, I mean, it. Uh, I. It's obvious that what they're doing ain't gonna work, and uh, you know, I think that this is now obviously the time that uh, uh, conservatives need to be doubling down, tripling down. We need to be putting all the pressure down exactly where we are, especially on the school boards, on the teachers' unions. That is where this needs to go. Because it's a winning, not only is it a winning platform, because it's obvious that this is where change is needed. Well, you can also look at some of that polling data that that, <clears throat> that we have here on, on what was happening according to the polls. Now, you can you can take it however you want to take it. Uh, a lot of these polls are, you know, it's it's a manipulation tool. Um, some of them are legitimate. Some of them are actually quite accurate. Uh, however, this is this is a, an approval disapprove poll versus an election poll. Election polls have notoriously been, I mean, they're they're a manipulation tool. Well, we got uh, the Economist poll uh, coming out. Uh, this was this was all this this week. These were the uh, these polls as of uh, I think yesterday. Uh, approval at forty four percent while disapproval at 51 percent uh political uh job approval 45 approve uh 51 disapprove uh harvard harris job approval 43 approve disapprove uh, uh 51 percent disapprove so we're all in like the plus seven to plus eight area of uh of disapprove i mean and his numbers are, are really in the tank and remember uh, the, the other one that i find really interesting is the direction of the country and that one is really not good because i think that really trickles down to uh kind of those state elections where it says the uh, uh wrong we're at between a plus 20 and a plus 40 percent of people saying that our country is going in the wrong direction. For those of you in Portland, that's 70 to 90% of the country saying as a whole that we're going in the wrong direction. That that's is astounding. A, that's a killer. That is straight up astounding. I mean, I don't know. I mean, holy, you'd think that they would change something in their strategy to try and it, it, but but here here's here's the fact. The fact is is they aren't going to change anything in their strategy because they don't give a crap what your opinion is. They really don't care, and and this is evidence of it. You're seventy to ninety percent of the country. That's not seventy to ninety percent of of Republicans or seventy to ninety percent of Democrats. This is an across the board poll. Seventy to ninety as a whole disagree with the direction of the country based on Democrat rule. Now, I'm not going to say policies because they are ruling against the will of the people. And this is evidence of it. And they are, they won't change it. Well, I think they're too ideologically committed, right? Their only answer to people telling them that they don't like what's going on is more cowbell. That's all they can do. Or that you're no, a racist. It, well, yeah, but that's part of the cowbell. Yeah, that's a, that's right. part of the part of the cowboy. Right? Is it the, the old the old they all go the go to Democrat sayings? You know, you're racist. We'll come back to that. It, this is for the greater good. Your fair share. That that's the kind of crap. That's all that they're ever going to say. And you're going to see this number continue to climb. And 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 I sincerely hope it does. I sincere. I hope that twenty percent drops off and it's 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 a plus forty to fifty. That would be ninety to hundred percent for everybody in Portland. Um, I, I hope it continues to climb because you know, you know what my opinion is on this, on why I hope that stuff climbs on why I hope gas prices get out of control on why it's because I don't want little by little by little by little. I want them to just do it so everybody can get sick of it and things can happen because everybody is too preoccupied with meaningless crap that doesn't mean anything at all. 
um, has no impact on your life. It's there to entertain you and distract you when stuff like things that matter are, are slowly creeping in over your freedoms. So, all right. I'm, I'm, that's to me, that's, I'm, that's a really good thing. I'm really happy to see that number that high. It just all, when you look at the totality of it, you look at all the things that we've talked about with the administration, and then you add in these polls and the kicker at the end saying that 70 to 90% of the people of, of people around the country think that we are going in the wrong direction. I mean, I think that all just sets the stage for, uh, uh, the, the Yunkin versus McAuliffe, uh, uh, election and then you add on top of that the daily wire doing some great work breaking a story in loudon county that uh it, did you see how long it took the uh the mainstream media to catch up to that well they're they're avoiding it in the first place i think there was a gr there was a deeper knowledge there i think they really did know what was going on and they were just refusing to cover it and they were refusing to cover it because they were protecting a union they were protecting a union and a bunch of democrat hacks um, the teachers union is super, super powerful. Teachers union is literally their bigger, their biggest donor. Right. And what does that tell you about government schools, people? I mean, and it, you don't even have to go much further than just watching McAuliffe campaign with uh, Randy Weingarten, the head of the uh, uh, NFT, National Teachers Federation, on the last day of his campaign. I don't understand why he would do that. I, I really don't, because it's obvious that people are very upset with the NFT. I mean, you have literal states leaving the NFT. You have parents rising up, forming their own uh, uh, teachers' unions to try and combat this. And yet, he, he, he like takes her in and is like, oh yeah, hey, come here and campaign with me so I can lose this election. For sure lose it. I, I just don't understand. And then he... Well, if that's if that if that was the final nail in the coffin, I'm happy he did it. You know, I mean, it, it show it shows the disconnect between Democrats and reality is what it shows. They don't want to govern on the will of the people. He doesn't care what anybody. He, he completely didn't care what what the people thought. Obviously, with some of the stuff he did and some of the things he did, he doesn't care. And and he's well, well I'm just going to go go do what Democrats typically do. Well, they've and, never and had care. to really worry about it. Well, I mean, think they have the media completely covering for them. So why would he, he, he doesn't get out of his bubble a whole lot. So he probably just thinks, oh yeah, I can say whatever I want. Uh, my base really loves the teachers union. So we're going to try and bring that out and see if we can generate some support. But you know, it, he, they're in this bubble and the media covers for them. So when you think about that and you just think, oh, well, I can probably do pretty much whatever I want. I can say that parents have no say over their parents or uh, over their kids because I know that the media is going to cover for me and they're going to try and spin it two ways from, you know, the eight ways from Sunday. Uh, they're, they're really going to try and spin it. How, however, they I'm going to say it. They'll do my dirty work. 